everybody Mike here I'm going to show you how we mix concrete by hand to patch and repair a small area in a, in a concrete patio or pool deck a sidewalk or something like that now I had to cut this concrete out right where that duct tape is so about a two foot by three foot area so the pool guy could come and repair some pipes that were leaking under this skimmer so I got out my demo saw and I cut right straight through the concrete right where that duct tape was all the way straight down through and then I got my little my little demo hammer my jackhammer that thing's great that electric jackhammer and I just broke up the concrete so I could take it out and I had to be pretty careful around that skimmer because I didn't want to break anything it was about four inches thick you know it had some wire mesh in it so it it didn't come out like super easy it was kind of jammed in there pretty good, but just take. I just took my time, cut the cut the wire as I went, took the little pieces out, put them in a bucket, and then we just we just dumped them out back. So, you know, the key was just just taking your time. If you hurry something like this, you could break something, especially up against the pool. I didn't want to break that coping that I'm stepping on right there, and I didn't want to break any part of the skimmer where the skimmer cover slid down over the skimmer part so it just took a few minutes for us to do this probably about 20 30 minutes total and we had all the concrete out and then we were ready to you know let the pool guys do their thing they had to dig down and fix the the piping underneath because there was a hole in it somewhere and then we were going to come back and, and mix up some concrete by hand and patch this back in so so here i am i got my form I'm putting in just to hold the concrete simple little 2x4 there and now I'm drilling and pinning the the new concrete I'm gonna put into the old because I don't want this concrete to settle I don't want it to lift I don't want any type of a of a trip edge you know when the kids are running around the pool deck so I'm gonna drill it and pin it together so it'll never move or separate and I'm just using a 3 8 a 3 8 bit with some 3 8 rebar. I got my DeWalt battery operated hammer drill. You guys, if you know, if you watched me before, you've seen me use that before. That thing's great for drilling into concrete. Any of these tools you guys see me using, I'll have down in the description if you want to check them out. So I highly recommend them. They they work really good. Now I'm just pounding some rebar, some dowels into those holes I drilled, some 3 8 rebar. And that's going to pin the concrete together, the new to the old. So I won't have to worry about anything moving. So I'll just get those, I'll tap those in with a hammer. You know, I tapped them in about 2 to 3 inches. And then when I get done, I'm going to tie a little, just a little mat of rebar in here, just for a little added strength. But that's as easy as it is to, you know, drill and pin something together right there. So now I just cut a few smaller pieces to run the other way. And I'm just tying them together with some wire. And I'll just, I didn't have my regular wire ties with me today. So I just used regular wire and I just twisted it around. That was plenty good enough to hold all that rebar in place. So what I'm using for mixing concrete today is I'm using some Quickcrete 5000 and I got a little bag of some Rapid Set concrete mix. I'm going to mix a little bit of that Rapid Set in with the Quickcrete 5000. That way this stuff will dry just a little bit faster and these people, they'll be able to use this pool deck today. They won't have to worry about their little kids stepping on this patched area. And so what, what I'm doing is, you know, each bag, the Quickcrete 5000 takes about four to five quarts of water. So I'm just measuring out my water, dumping it in the wheelbarrow. I'll put in four quarts and then I'll dump the bag in there and I'll get it mixed up somewhat to where I want it. And then I'll add a little bit of water if I think I need it. If, if I think it needs a little bit more water, I'll just add some. And then I'll add in a scoop or two of that quick crete, I mean the uh, rapid set stuff, just to help it set up a little bit faster today. So that's that's the basic process right there. Put your water in first, dump in part of your bag mix, and get that mixed up pretty good. And then you can dump in the rest of your bag and continue mixing it 
And then if you think you need to add a little bit more water, if it feels like it's too stiff or too dry, just add a little bit more water to it until you get it the consistency you want. See, that's, that's a little too dry for me, so I added that fifth quart in there. And then I'll get it to a pretty decent consistency. I don't want it too, too loose. But I, but I also don't want it too dry. I want to be able to work with it. So I'm just moving that back and forth. It probably took about two or three minutes total to get that mix to where I wanted it. And that's it. That's, that's mix number one. I'm going to end up having three of those mixes like that to fill this. But the first one, I'm just I'm just shoveling in there, and I'm going to smooth it out, get it down on the bottom. And here I am with the second one, building it up a little bit more. I'll get that pushed into place. It's still all going to be a little bit below grade. I'm going to have to go back and mix one more batch, you know, one more bag of Quickcrete 5000 with a little bit of the Rapid Set in it. But I'm getting everything consolidated, getting it down in there really good. So here I am with the third batch. And now I'm going to have plenty. So I'll get it all shoveled in there. And then show you how I get it magged out. And then put the, a little bit of broom finish on it. And I'm going to I'm gonna edge up against that 2x4 also to try to match the original deck. So I'm being kind of careful, you know, I don't want to get any concrete in the pool. I don't want to get too much concrete on that that cover there for the skimmer. I'll take that off after and, and wash it with a hose, but I didn't want to I didn't want to take it off and get any concrete inside the skimmer either. So you can see this is a pretty dry mix. There was quite a slope from the pool out away towards the fence there was probably an inch and a half to two inches slope on that that you can't really see too good on the camera so I didn't want to I didn't want to pour this concrete too loose I had to keep it pretty dry so it, it didn't sag at all and now I'm just getting things mag floated out smoothing things out mat trying to match the edges of the concrete match the coping you know and match the skimmer also so here I am putting my edger on it you can see it matches up with the other, the old edger there, just about exact. And what I'll do is I'll just give this a couple minutes and then I'll continue magging it out. It doesn't take long when you, when you mix that rapid set with it. You want to stay right on top of it. Otherwise, it'll get hard really quick on you. So I'll just get it mag floated out a little bit smoother. And then I can apply my little light, really light broom finish to it. I just want to make sure everything matches. You know, all the edges match. There's no little holes. That's what I'm doing here. There, now I got my broom. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of texture and I don't want to leave it too smooth. There's no way I can match the, the old deck. That's That concrete's probably about 30 years old. So I'm just giving it a little bit of broom texture. You can see how easy that goes just to finish it off. And that's it. I mean, that's how you mix concrete by hand and do a little concrete patch like this. Well, let me know down in the comments, guys, if you have any, any questions, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.